Hello and welcome to the first of two videos where we're going to be exploring different techniques of removing colour casts from our images. Now we're going to start off with this picture where we're going to be using Photoshop Elements Remove Colour Cast tool. Then in a separate video we're going to have a look at removing colour casts from this image. We're going to be using a completely different technique and I must be honest it's probably also my favourite. Now I'll be putting a link below the first video so you can link up with the second. There will also be a little flyout banner which will appear from the top right hand corner which will also link up. Right let's head back over to this image. Now the first thing I like to do is to duplicate the background layer. So we're going to use Command J or Control J, that's Command J or Control J. We've now got our duplicated layer, it's called Layer 1. But it's always a good idea to rename these layers, that way you'll know exactly what you've done to it. So let's double click, that's now highlighted, and I'm going to type in Remove Color Cast, pressing Enter or Return to apply it. We're now going to head up to Enhance, coming down to Adjust Colour, coming across to Remove Colour Cast. Now when this opens, it's asking us to select parts of the image which will either be grey, white or black. As you move your cursor out, you'll notice you've got a little colour sample tool, a little eyedropper tool. Let's start off with black, so I'm going to come over to this area here. We're going to click down. As we click down, chin up please, and it hasn't done a particularly good job. Now you don't have to come rushing over and clicking on reset because you can click down multiple times. Let's have a look at the black here. It's a little bit of a lighter tone. So as we click down there, that actually looks pretty good. So I'm just going to make a quick note of where that was. Let's have a look at some white. So clicking down here. No, I don't like that. Clicking down on that position. That looks pretty good there too. Now there's, with this particular image, there's plenty of blacks, there's plenty of whites, there's plenty of greys. So it's also worth just clicking on a few more. You might also notice the way that the foreground colour here in the toolbox changes as we click down. There it is so you can see the exact colour and you can see that is a pretty good grey. But I don't like what it's doing to the image. Let's take a look at uh, this grey here and that looks cool. Now by cool I mean it's got a little bit of a blue tinge but I'm not too worried about that. Okay let's just check out that black, the first one we found or second one should I say which was this one here and clicking around a bit. No I think I actually prefer this one up here. Let's head over clicking on the preview you can see there it is before that's with the color cast as we put the tick back in the box again. Look at the difference that makes to the pictures. Look at the colours and tones that we're now revealing. It's almost like a film has been lifted, isn't it, off that image. Right, let's click on OK. Now, talking of which, one handy tip, when you're looking at the colours in the picture, this is the default workspace. Now, bring your cursor out. If you right-click, you can see there it is, default. But you've also got a choice of black dark grey, medium grey, light grey and custom where you can set your own colour. And you can see if you're using light grey, look at the way that washes the colours out. As you go to the medium grey, it's looking a little bit better. Dark grey, look what that's doing to the colours and tones. Black is probably my favourite. And as we just switch this off and on, you can see the way we're now revealing the colours, the tones in the image. Now, I mentioned this was looking a little bit cool. This is where duplicating the layers come in because now we can come to the opacity slider. We can reduce down the opacity and as I reduce it looking at the image into this area here. I like the way that's starting to look. Just taking it a little bit further there. What have we got? We got 71%. Just switching this off and on. Yeah, I like what that's doing. Now this has given us a good start position. It doesn't matter what you are doing to your picture. Always remove the colour cast first. You can then apply painting effects. You can even convert it to black and white. But so long as you remove that colour cast, it gives you a really good start point. With this particular image, we're just going to finish it off with a adjustment layer of hue saturation. Just taking the saturation up into that area. That looks pretty good. Once again, just switching it off and on, 
there it is so there is our finished image uh, i hope you've enjoyed the video don't forget i'll be putting a link to the second video below this one so pop along take a look at that as well but i hope you've enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you have don't forget subscribe as there's plenty more videos to come but until the next time it is happy imaging and take care